The chopper was there in recognition of Roadman's service in the Marine Corps. He also served as a firefighter and EMT in Vermontville and a firefighter in Lansing. Fox 47's Joy Wang shares some of the stories his friends told at his funeral. Friends of Dennis Roadman say the biggest Wolverine fan loved showing his pride on Michigan State's campus. I thought all of us attending today would need to issue hard hats, thinking Dennis would bring the roof down on us all for having a service here at the Breslin Center. He remembers working with Roadman in Vermontville and telling the firefighter about the compliments he would get for his nice radio voice. Dennis said he would have to agree with them. I was like, wow. You think so? Thank you. Dennis said, thank you for what? He said, you have a radio voice because you're so ugly, no one wants to see your face when you talk. <laughs> Only Dennis. The kind of guy who would light up a room with positivity. You remember the people that greeted you with a smile and the people said, hey, chief, you want a cup of coffee? Can I get you a glass of water? And that had kind things to say. And Dennis was one of those people. Together, Roadman's family and friends looked back on the moment Roadman fell in love with his wife, Kate. Our Dennis the Menace had found the love of his life, and she had taken a good man and made him better. They remembered him as the veteran and first responder who lived a life of service. Dennis Roadman was everything we value in America. He was everything we value in Lansing Fire Department. He was everything we value in our families. He was a good man. Today we mourn your loss. Tomorrow we carry on in honor of you. Rest easy, brother. We will take it from here. Joy Wang, Fox 47 News. Friends of Roadman say the firefighter was adventurous and loved the outdoors. If he wasn't out hunting on Saturdays in the fall, you could find him watching the maize and blue out on the football field.